what is up my peeps it's something bad here and i am super pissed right now because my uh first episode of this let's play did not record um it did record but it did not record the audio for some reason so i'm going to try this again um play the selected world um so basically i'm doing super hostile series let's play uh number three the infernal sky by vex vex is a super cool dude for creating these maps um so basically what you do in these uh these super hostile maps are you basically all you have to do is find and complete the victory monument um there these rules basically are um really not really rules use at least easy never peaceful which i am on easy and i will bump it up if i need to um do not leave the map boundaries find wool in chests do not use sheep dye or spider silk and i'll get into that in a minute uh, survive in any way you can think of you may not or you may craft the metal blocks for the VM, um, M, which is the VM is the victory monument. Um, and you may use spider string wool and spider string wool. God, why is that so hard to say? Spider string wool for non-VM uses, such as beds. So basically, I went to this chest and I got this, basically all of this except the wool. Um, and then I came over here and I read the sign. It says I recommend far render. And then I saw a tree over there. Um, so basically, these super hostile maps are survival maps that um, you basically have to survive in very harsh terrain. Which this one is um, called the Infernal Sky, so obviously we are in the sky. Um, you can see the world below us. Um, but we are floating up here in the sky, and if you um, look around, there's actually really nicely made clouds. Um, like oval Sir, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's already getting nighttime. God dang it. Um, so basically what I did in the first day was I read that sign. It said, hint, the first wool is over that way. And so I went that way and I found this little glass box that had the white wool in it, which is super awesome. Yay! And then I went over there and I figured out that we can't get to the tree quite yet because we have to build a bridge across and we can't get to the victory monument quite quite yet because that we have to build a bridge across so i'm going to show you guys real quickly oh i'm going to see what this nothing i'm going to show you guys the um victory monument real quickly um i can't get to it or i can't get a close-up of it but that's basically what it looks like and now there's creepers crawling over it and there's a skeleton so i'm going to go back to the spawn and I'm basically gonna, just going to make this a me talking, which I know you guys might not want to see that. The Let's Play, I promise the Let's Plays will get way better than this. I just need somewhere to be temporarily so I don't die. So I'm going to wall my... I can't wall myself in because I don't have anything to wall in with. Oh, I can get some gravel. Okay, I'm going to dig some gravel out. Um, I'm going to... Alright, let's get this gravel. And then... Why don't I have my gravel? I have eggs in my inventory, but no gravel. Ah, what was that? So much lag. Alright. Um, wall this off. So now we are protected from everything except spiders. Um, in our little lighted area. The spawn. Oh, how I love you, spawn. So, basically, I've been playing Super Hostile number one. Uh, for a while now. Um... It's called the Sea of Flames, and he redid the first and third maps. He didn't redo the second map yet because of um, some recent changes in the 1.6. Um, he needs to... That looks odd. Sorry, I get distracted easily. He had to change some stuff at the beginning. Um, so, uh, the first one, it's it's average, it's called. There are four different difficulties. There's uh, easy, normal, hard, or a easy, average, hard, and ROM hack hard, uh, which I'll explain in the next video. Anyways, um, I've been playing the first one, which is an average map, which is, I, I'm about halfway through it. I just found the Victory Monument, which, it was literally like, I could have found it within the first ten minutes, but I'm a stupid, so, yeah. Anyway, ooh, my pants, and I also found some pants in that chest, and they look like, uh, I don't know, like a friggin' fat redneck pants. I mean, look at that, your, your, your belly's sticking out. Stupid Spartan. Spartans are supposed to be, like, thin and fit, not fat flabby pieces of crap <laughs> anyways um very nice looking clouds just had to say that um so the
the yeah the first one was really nice and um i really enjoy it even though i'm so bad at it and ooh secret area maybe i don't know um so i'm so bad at it like i said um but i do love it nonetheless so i decided to do this one which is an easy one so hopefully i'll do better at this and um so that's basically what i'm doing um i have one more thing to ask you guys um i know someone at bethesda studios uh, Bethesda Studios is making Skyrim. They've made the Elder Scrolls series, and they're making Skyrim. So I was wondering if you guys wanted to see a commentary about me um, and my connections with Bethesda. And I was wondering if you wanted me to ask him some stuff. I've been in uh, contact with him a little bit. Um, I sent him an email asking him some questions because I am I kind of want to go into game design when I uh, get older. So I sent him some questions. Um let me know if you guys want to see that commentary, see some of the questions I asked and the responses. Um, anyways, uh, that's basically the first Let's Play. Sorry it wasn't too entertaining, but I'll see you guys next time because I got to go. So, bye guys.